Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create a batch file that runs programs on your computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty quick tutorial, and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So the first thing you want to do is create a notepad file or a text document something. So I'm just going to type in notepad, open that up. We're going to paste in whatever we want to type in here, and we make sure we have the echo part of it as well. That's very important as part of the batch, the echo off at the top. And then we have a pause at the end, so just keep that in mind. So most of you guys actually have the text. You just want to make sure you have the ability to run it. So in order to do that, it's very simple. Just go up, left click on the File tab, Save As. Now name this file whatever you want here. So I'm going to say File That Runs. And then this is really important, you want to do a dot .bat, so again at the end of the file name .bat, keep save as type as text documents and encoding as ANSI, that's fine. Click on save and just take note of the location it's saving it to. So we're saving it to the desktop here. I'm going to click on save, close out of here. Now a lot of these actually require you to run as administrator, so you see we have the batch on here. So in order to actually run it, right click on it. Left click on Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control window, left click on Yes, and it will begin running the batch file. So pretty straightforward, and I do have this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.